Yo, what's up, clan? Uh, so last night, Superfly and I uh, kind of figured out a technique that's been working well for us here on Shenzhen, given that the matchmaking is is appropriate. Uh, but basically, this is what we would do. Uh, we'd get two lances. I'd take the Ancelot, and he'd take uh, same thing, but with thunders. Both of us running organs, right? And uh, I think this is like the second time that we that we tried this. All right. So the idea is to to get this to get this beacon, and uh, to use my Ancel shield to protect him. In this case, we splash this person out. Uh, get my fat bot stuck. All right, there's a, a Russian death button over here. All right, so he's fired. He's got to wait 15 seconds before he can shoot again. So we're gonna come out through here with cover. Take the beacon. Try the shields. Superfly. I think we're gonna try to take this guy out, get a little corner shooting in. All right, cool. So we got the beacon, we got that cleared out. Took out two, really wasn't that much of a challenge. We got a stalker coming out. Of course he doesn't want any. At the moment we're using this, this building for a cover, we're eventually gonna make it to that channel up in front. Now it's really helpful to be on comms to do this. So I know that we're we're on like whoop whoop for comms, but you all can create your own channel um, or uh, yeah, look at this. Yeah, we're just melting into bots. Just kind of splash that one from around the corner. We got stuck with that stalker. And then, dude, do I come out halfway to provide Ansel? Yeah, so I come back out here. A lot of back and forth, right? All right, so come out here halfway to provide uh, Ansel shield to help Superfly get back over here so now we're both in, in position over here and you can corner shoot to the left all you want you can corner shoot to the right I'm just hitting them with the right ones he's going to jump and he's going to get worked alright uh, then we got this carnage over here Broke this up. But got a beacon lead. Won that, but whoever that was came back with another one. Okay. So I wonder if we, we get back together here at all. I 
Um, but in the, the previous game, which I thought we had recorded, which is terrible, we did this uh, a couple times in the same game. Uh, did that two-person technique, took that side bacon, got in the channel, and I was in my Ancelor the entire game. And I, th I made it through half the game without taking on any damage, which was crazy. Um, and finished the game maybe with only half damage, like 700,000 points. Um, but, uh, aside from that carnage coming up, um, you know, we probably would have been there for a lot longer. So, I think we're definitely going to try to do this more on on Shenzhen, uh, but I think it also just goes to show that that this is a, a good technique, kind of anywhere we decide to, to go for this. So let's do some more some more chaperoning. You know, uh, uh, Ants a lot with Orkins. And then another Lancelot with uh, either Orkins and Thunder or Terran and Thunder. Um, we, we coordinate our, our strikes that way. And then we can kind of like keep cycling this, this pattern throughout the game. So I'm not going to play all the games from yesterday. I feel like there's been a lot of crappy matchmaking. It's made some of these games pretty crappy. Um, Alright, what we got left here? Yeah, so we're getting some some terrible matchmaking. Someone shooting me from from behind. Super flies down there on the other end. Um, outrunning these Orkins over here. Got stuck on the edge of the building. There he goes. He comes out and hits this last person. Got it. So, uh, after this, I'm going to play one more clip from Dead City, where we kind of do the same. Kind of had some failures last night trying to do this, try this like mob technique. Uh, <laughs> did not work at all. Um, but both of us got tons of points on this. You know, both of us almost had, we're in the million zone. Superfly had a milli. Um, but, you know, uh, and I, I think they did have a couple champions on their side. And I don't think we had a single champion on our, on our team over here. All right, so here comes the other Death City, Dead City clip.
All right, we're going to do this twice in a row on Dead City as well. Uh, just trying the technique over on, on this board. All right, we were going to go get that home beacon, but that death button jumped over us. So then we get back together over here. Kind of come down this way to avoid any fire up that channel really quick and just kind of seeing what this where the spread of bots are um, okay so this this guy jumps and shoots all of his missiles so he's kind of a sitting duck he can't really do much so we take this guy out and then we're gonna hit him in a second. But again, this is like so much more helpful to have the, uh, right, so splash a little bit, he jumped away, but it's so good to be on, on comms here, because this is, it's really easy to get, to get separated, and I was driving super fly crazy, um, moving around so much. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. All right, so, and you know, in like coordinating like strikes too. So that was a, an ants a lot, and uh, couldn't let him hang out there the whole time. So I had to shoot into him. But that would have been would have been better if Superfly would have peeled his ansel back with the thunder before before we shot into him. So you know, we're learning how to how to switch lead, uh, at least shooting order to, to take out some of these bots. But I think that we're gonna we're gonna be doing this a whole bunch. Um, we have like one one game of like good matchmaking and then the rest weren't bad but they definitely were were tough with a lot of uh, champions in them but we kind of use this technique with, uh, with pretty good success all right so I'm gonna go down here and since we're on the comms we we're just talking out loud about uh, coming back in again so that round I start with my Ansel and then this round he's gonna start with his Ansel and now we're going you know Terrans but I think all of us has a Lancelot uh, if not two uh, I've got four so we can kind of you know rinse and repeat this technique because not only is it good for you know, taking your home beacon I think it's, it's pretty good for Kind of staying in a certain area and, and crushing it for a little bit longer. Okay, good. We're still together. Uh, came through that. You know, very little damage. Superfly's shield is definitely regenerating right here. Uh, some good corner shooting. Can't really do much to this guy here. Alright, so looks like there might have been a death button back there. I think I'm on my own again. Oh, am I? Got this creeper crawler. Not sure if that guy joined with us late. 
Okay, he went down. I was thinking about trying to follow him around. Yep. Let me get beast moded uh, around here. Um, but yeah, this is a technique that I'm pretty sure we're going to do more of. Um, so, so check it out. Uh, try it out. I think if we, if we kind of keep doing this, um, uh, I think we're going to be stronger uh, in our games. And I don't think that we, it always has to be two Lancelots, but obviously one needs to be an Ansel and uh, the other one needs to be able to have some, some good firepower as well. So whether we do Ancelot with Plasma Griff or Ancelot with Death Button Griff or Ancelot with two Galahads, um, you know, something like that, that if, if we're going to want to, to take a particular area on the map, um, I think that we should do it this way. Um, so let me know your thoughts. Uh, just chat stuff up in, in Discord. That'd be awesome.